All right, I'm just going to hook it up and you can see it's all starting. So it wants to go in a certain direction depending on where I place this. So we're all the way over on one side. So if I was to go to the other side, slide it over, it'll probably turn the other way. So there we go. So that's counterclockwise. Let's go now it's clockwise. So it's very easy to make this change directions um, according to the timing. And then you just want to play around with it exactly where you want to position it. So Burn like a kitten. So, like I said, you could put across the motor coils um, lights or other resistive loads. Um, and uh, but if you disconnect this, the flyback diodes, these neon bulbs will go on. They'll probably burn out. You might blow up the transistors. So be aware of that. So it takes a little bit of time to um, let the um, bearings sink in, so to speak. So you can run it this way. There's a little airflow now because we have those holes in the side. I'm going to have to take off the back piece of that. So I'm disconnecting it. So this is without the generator coils hooked up. So of course you want to peel the tape off everything. Uh, and now we'll hook up the generator coils and we'll run some loads. All right, what we got here is this generator coil on the bottom here, just one so far, connected up to six LEDs. These are pretty bright ones. And um, we're going to do six, and then we're going to um, do the other side the opposite way. We're going to overlap these two over these, not parallel because the anode and cathodes are reversed here. So you'll see that in the circuit diagram. You can run it both ways, both sides of the sine wave. So let's turn it on here and start it up again. We're going to watch these LEDs come on. They're pretty bright. So now um, adjusting the timing here will change the brightness a little bit. So you can see they came on a little bit brighter there. It's lighter or intensity. All right, so now what I'm going to do. is take this wire and run it across here and watch the other ones come on so you don't put any more load on the system when you're doing that now you don't have to solder these up like I've done. It's just I'm trying to show how they're connected. The anode's connected to the cathode all the way through and to make them all in series. And then we're going to connect this end up to there. 
can connect it other ways. So these are all the white LEDs, and then we're going to have the red ones connected up as well. Um, so you have all four coils can be running all these LEDs. And then also on the across the motor coils, you can do the same thing. And um, basically in parallel with the flyback diode on either end of the legs there would be the same thing as these wires right here. So, um, yeah, if we connect all those up. Now the other thing we can do is now hook it up to LEDs or bulbs and then we can run it into this bridge rectifier here and then have the SCR being pulsed with either a neon bulb for high voltage or um, and then we have the capacitor too of course across the output the positive and negative terminal of the bridge and then the input comes into here so all all these wires could be either connected up in series with each other each of the four coils of the generator coils or they could be hooked up in parallel as long as they're hooked up the right way so that the voltages don't cancel out, zero out. Um, so then um, let's look at the voltages with the voltmeter and let's connect up the pulser because then we can charge a battery with, um, with these generator coils. All right, we're going to run the LEDs, the red ones at least. Same way, we're running six in series with each other. And um, we, the output is around 16 volts off these coils, um, the way they're configured. And that's just one coil I'm talking about. So we're going to run six this way, and then we're going to run these ones reversed across them. So let's start it up again. So these are pretty bright red LEDs. Put the brightest ones I could get. Alright, so we're gonna run this coil or this wire. The opposite way. For all 12 of them, just like we ran these ones earlier. Could probably try and run these too, but I don't have so many hands. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is disconnect the LEDs. And then we're going to run this the SCR circuit to attempt to charge this battery, which is sitting at 1193. So let's get our wires here. The yellow one, you can see the circuit diagram here. Uh, notice on the left the bridge rectifier, the yellow wire corresponds to this yellow wire that I'm showing right here. And we're going to connect it up to the bridge. Like that. The red wire corresponds to the red wire going straight to the battery and the cap. So right here. Right there. And the black wire comes around here, goes up to the battery from the anode on the SCR. You can see the little A at the bottom of the SCR and in the center. The back terminal and the center terminal are the same on this SCR. And then the left terminal is the cathode, represented as K on the left there, and K going straight down to the battery. So we're going to get the green wire, and we're going to hook up, listen for the RPM shift if, all, if, it, if at all, on the motor. Didn't seem to affect it. Now, um, so now what we're doing is pulsing this battery. So let's look at the voltage 
on the bridge, or yeah, coming off of the bridge. It's 1288. Remember, the battery is 11 